Hi guys. Just made this cardboard aeroplane from a, a cardboard, uh, yeah, cardboard wine box. It's quite um, quite firm card or cardboard, and it flew quite nicely. Only across the garden. We're not talking. Um, duration flights here but you've just had pizzas for tea so you can probably guess where I'm going here um, the bottom of the pizza tray is useless that's um, this was a pepperoni and there's a fair bit of juice has gone down there and the other one it's got quite a bit left in it actually but again, the bottom is not going to be much use. I can probably use the top. I'll probably bag that up and use that for bait for when I'm filming the animals in the garden. So, plan is to do another plane very similar to this one using this cardboard. Available distance looks like that's about 30 centimeters, 300 millimeters. Square, just a little bit on the fold there. I have an idea that I might be able to make use of that fold. Okay, this one was only uh, 23 centimetres, so these are 7 centimetres longer. That was 60 mil uh, millimetres wide. Hmm. Just wondering if I can go 80, 70 or 80. I'm going to go 70. And 60 at this end. And then 70. to do it that way. I'm just looking at the slight curve in it there. It might be better to yeah, use this end as the wide end and make the other end narrow. Make that 70. That's the centre point and then 60 that way, 60 that way. I am making this up as I'm going along. It's no design that I'm following, either than the, other than the general dimensions of that one. But yeah, there's quite a bow there. See if I can make use of that bit of that flap down there. So yeah, 60 at that end. And 
70 there. That makes that 300, doesn't it? Okay, body, fuselage. Been thinking that through as well. Fold it over so it's double thickness, make it a little bit stronger. And then this end we've already got 10. So that's going to be 30, 60. I don't honestly expect you to follow my rambling while I'm trying to think this out. a bit when they want to. So that's wings, fuselage. We need a, a fin and a tail. Now I made that about a third of the um, total wingspan. So a third that that's going to be 600 long a third of 600 is 200 or 20 20 centimeters Let's see if we can follow a line in the it might be safer just to measure Sixty this time. Just for safety, I'll come down to seventy there. Sixty there. That should be a straight line. reckon that was going to be 20 10 60. Keep it straight, that'll be handy. Go 50. So need a tail, a fin, which I reckon we can go 
like that. I think. Right, we need some sort of a some sort of a curve like that. Okay, that's the basics. Cut that out. We'll want to cut them like that. And we also want the piece to go across the top of it. In fact, that piece there. Should be just about right. If we draw a line up the middle of it and fold it. Do for the I can't even see that sorry I'll just draw off the picture right that little bit there is going to be a brace or a strengthener for the dihedral on the wings and then mark 50 there for the tail Go a hundred, so fifty, one hundred, and then seventy for the wing. That's our seventy, and then whatever's left, which looks like about another seventy and a bit, is the nose. So the wing's going to go there. Tails go in there, and the rest of that is the nose. And the centre of gravity should be somewhere between a third of the way back and a half, half of the way back. What's a third of seven? Two and a bit. So I reckon the centre of gravity is going to be somewhere somewhere between those two points. For those people who want the dimensions, that's my dimensions. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.